Hi guys, just a quick thank you to say thanks for taking the time to check out this video and see the information within. It's been quite a while since I've shared any kind of tips or information on the forum, but today I wanted to share with you one of the most underutilized tools on Fiverr, which is the Fiverr Anywhere feature. Now, from what I understand, a lot of sellers may actually turn around and say, well, Fiverr Anywhere, what is that? Is that when you use your app or you can use Dropbox? What is Fiverr Anywhere? Now, it's kind of hidden away on the website at the moment, and I'm just gonna give you a very quick overview of that and link to the actual article so you can read more information after this video. But basically, Fiverr Anywhere was a tool which was released in October 2014 and then updated in March 2015. Now, how it basically works is you can create a custom offer now this came in before we actually had custom offers, but basically what this does, it creates a permanent custom offer for a set period of time that anyone can access. So at the moment, when you create a custom offer, you do so when a buyer comes to you and you say to the buyer, here's your custom offer and only that buyer has access to it. What Fiverr Anywhere does is it allows you to create an open custom offer that can be used by anyone. Now, when this tool was first created, and even to this day, and on the actual forum on, and the blog as well, it's kind of pitched as a way that you can use this to create a custom offer to use off-site, whether you want to put a link on a website, or if you want to try and market on Facebook, or anything else along this way. That's how it's pitched. Now, whilst this is all well and good, this isn't the best way to generate or to use this tool. Now what I'm gonna show you now is to how to use the Fiverr Anywhere tool to basically create an unlimited flow of upsells and increase your average order amounts by having this tool and using it on site. So, just to go through it really quick, to access the area, we go into selling and we go into promote your business. Now what people often think they should type here is something such as selecting a gig, such as review your website, and say I will review your website, charging the same price, setting the same time, and then putting the maximum delivery, and then putting this link onto Facebook. Now that isn't what we want to do. We don't want to use this on site, uh, off site. Instead, we want to use this on site. So what we do is we look at ways to help this complement our gigs. So, as an example, I'm gonna look at this order here, which is a current logo delivery, and they've ordered social media design extras. Now, if we have a look at my logo delivery, we can see here that some of the extras available, well, we can't see it because it's on the other page, but some of the extras available are things like business cards and social media designs. Now, this user has already bought this and we've delivered. So what we do at the point of delivery is we're gonna set up a quick response. So here we go as an example, logo delivery with this quick response. Now, what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna create a custom offer. So I will create a matching business card design to complement and market your new logo. So we'll go ahead. Now, normally this is a $20 extra. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a smaller price. <clears throat> we're gonna put $15. We're gonna say it takes two days and we're gonna say it expires in, let's say seven days. So it's time limited so the buyer has to make a decision. Now we've got our code. If we go ahead and we go to this, You can see this is basically what it looks like to the user. It says what they're gonna order, it says how long, it says the expiration and how much it's gonna cost in total. It also has your overall user review here. So what I do is when I deliver my order, what I'm gonna say is, hi there, please find your logo files attached, blah, 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 my normal message. And I'm gonna write in a little bit of kind of time sensitive marketing text. Is it, I think, a good way to pitch this? And what I'm basically gonna say is, for a limited time only, matching business card designs are available to complement your new logo. For just the next seven days, receive 
um, well, actually, let's word that better. Let's say receive a 25% discount if you with all, uh, if you order within the next seven days, and then you put your link. Now, we have effectively just created an upsell here where a user or your buyer is going to come on, they're going to see their deliverable, and they're going to receive a 25% discount on this upgrade or on this upsell that you want to interlink with your order. This custom um, offer doesn't show on your profile. It doesn't show anywhere else. It's a back-end offer that only shows when you share it. So no one else knows about this. This means it has all the traits of a good marketing pitch to a buyer. It's hidden or it seemed kind of mysterious in a way. It's time limited, so they have to act within a swift period. And it has a discount applied to it, as well as being already linked into something that they've purchased. So there's an upgrade on top. So that's the easy way of doing it. Now, you can then go ahead and take this a little bit further if you want. So what I actually do to do my upsells is, well, I'm, I'm basically going to show you. I've created a small panel for myself. Now, we're going to copy this order down here. But what I basically do is I add in the order. I add in the buyer. I select the order or the um, logo um, package that they purchased. Add in the price. And then I select the photo that I'm delivering. Now, when I go ahead and add this, what happens is it creates a bit.ly link. Now, this bit.ly link is something that I send to all of my buyers after delivery. And they basically have a couple of options. So, they see the logo, there's a little bit of spiel or a little bit of information here about what they've received. They then have two options to say if they require changes or if they like it. If they require changes, it highlights what their next step is. If they click I like it, it takes us down further and it gives the users the upgrades. So it now prompts them to upgrade to the next level, the silver package or the gold package, taking into account their original order amounts the same way rather than being 55 before, it's now only 45. This, these buttons here are then linked into Fiverr anywhere. So users get this information and they can choose to upgrade from this with the reduced package. So there's a lot of different ways that you could use this. You could use it to interlink with things that you're already offering and just give them an easy checkout link. You could add it to time sensitive special offers or you could create pages like I have done here. The whole point is, is at the moment, Fiverr Anywhere is pitched as a way to market off site, but really it should always be used to interlink your orders and market on site. For example, there's no reason to say that when you create your instructions, you can't kind of say, um, add a link in one of your instructions that says, if you're interested, um, in some kind of upgrade blah 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 and have a link inside there as well and basically use this link wherever you can to create these custom offers to interlink with your buyers and your orders now where i say use them when you where you can i don't mean go ahead and spam loads of random people i mean connect with your current buyers when you have orders in queue deliver those orders and offer a small upsell or a special unique back end. As another example, inside my website improvement report gig where I offer to critique your websites, at the end of the report, we're gonna see that I've created a splash page for one of my other gigs, which is a, a personal consultation via Skype. This is then linked again into Fiverr Anywhere. So anyone who's reading this report can then come to the end and they can click this and be redirected to this backend upsell of Fiverr Anywhere again. Now, as I said, you wanna be using this where you can. Now, the only thing to mention is if you're gonna create your own standalone website or web page to upsell, you have to do it with inside Fiverr's terms of service. This means that you can't have any contact links on the page, you can't try to accept any kind of payment on the page, and you can't do anything that will try to circumvent the Fiverr system. The whole point of this page is to take the users, give them more information, give them more of an upsell, and then redirect or port them back into Fiverr to get those upsells or those upgrades from there. So I hope this information has been helpful to you guys today and understanding a little bit more about the Fiverr Anywhere system and how it can be used. So again, to find that, it's inside selling, 
and then promote your business. There is absolutely no limit to how many Fiverr um, Anywhere links that you can create. You can create as many as you want, but be sure to make a note of the links that you create because they do expire after a maximum of 30 days and there currently isn't any kind of list to show the links that you currently have set up. So it's important that you keep on top of them, but if you incorporate them into things such as quick responses, any kind of delivery documents or pages or anything else, it's a fantastic way to upsell to the user and to the buyer who's come to you. Because to reiterate that again, you're creating a special offer. You're interlinking it to what they've already purchased. It's time sensitive and it seems secret or exclusive to them as opposed to publicly being listed on your profile. This is also a great thing as well because depending on your user level, you have a set amount of gigs that you can create. Whether it's three, five, 10, 20, you're limited. But with Fiverr Anywhere, you're completely unlimited. So let's say you wanted to sell your ebook, but you didn't want to sell the whole ebook for, let's say, $5. What you could do is split it into, say, four parts, serialize it, sell part one for $5. At the end of your ebook, on the last page, have a link through to part two, and part two can then be linked into the Fiverr Anywhere link. So there's no need to create four separate gigs to try and upsell this, and you're upselling it from there. So again, hopefully this has been helpful for you guys today and be sure to check out the Fiverr Anywhere section on the website.